Well, Thursday I ordered from Meridroid an Odroid XU4 and paid the extra dollar for priority shipping. And here it is. Yesterday, this knife sent me to the emergency room. Hopefully I'm more successful with it today. And this is the Odroid XU4. I'm gonna put the knife down. I got foamies. I got whoop. All right. So I I believe in conservation and to save a foamy tree. So I'm just gonna repackage that. I did already 3D print an Odroid XU. Four case. Holy cow, this is small. And here's an Orange Pi Zero just for reference. We've got some more documentation and bada boom, bada bing. There it is. So, Power Adaptor. Pretty normal looking cannon plug. I'm excited. I'm going to have to fire this thing up. Well, what kind of unboxing is it if I don't take it out? Very nice. Wow. Um, Joe Hecht sent me an Odroid C1, and it looks like it's actually a little bit smaller maybe a few millimeters wider than the Odroid C1. Um, I'm not sure what happened to the Odroid C1, but it uh, quit on me. Ameridroid just dropped the price from $76.95 to $61.95 on the Odroid XU4. I like Diet Pie and the Diet Pie setup was a little confusing to me, and this is going to sound a little roundabout and confusing, um, and I'll explain why I think the process is. So I do have the EMMC, which is definitely worth the money. Get the EMMC. But you're going to be a little frustrated on booting. So the instructions here are to download this image. Now, this image is actually a Android image. It's a Android 4.4 image. Don't worry about it. So download it, unzip it. Um, the micro SD card, I use Etcher. You can use whatever you want. Etcher is cross-platform, good tool, and I'll throw a link in the description. So put that on both the micro SD card and the EMMC. Put the EMMC on the board, put the micro SD in the board, have the dip switch set to SD boot, and run it. Now, you're going to see the lights flash for a while. I had the HDMI plugged in. I just had a black screen. But the fan goes on, lights go on, exactly what they describe. Uh, they said green light here, green LED, it's blue. Anyhow, so... After it goes out, I waited a full three minutes. Uh, it says 40 seconds to three minutes. I just waited three plus minutes to make sure everything was done. Powered it off, removed the SD card, switched it over to EMMC, and sorry, I'm skipping the order, and the thing booted. And it booted with the HDMI cable in. I could get a Android desktop. What I did after that is... Powered down, you know, I shut down, powered down, pulled the EMMC, plugged it into the SD card slot programmer device, and then with Etcher, I put Diet Pie on. And that's how I was able to get the EMMC to boot. That, those are all the steps I did. 